In order to get out here, we spent something like seven, eight hours on the road last night. It was definitely worth it, but I kind of feel I'd be able to take it in a little better if I wasn't so tired. The entire area is just so beautiful. And there it is. We've come all the way over to the pagoda. It seems like it's only 300 yen to go in, so we're gonna go check it out. So if you do end up coming out here, some of the best vantage points to get photos from are this staircase that is right about here and this platform right up here is a spectacular spot to get photos. Right here, there's a little corner right here and the falls and building line up beautifully. This is, this is one of my bucket shots. This is something I've been looking forward to for a long time. How do you feel being out here? Absolutely amazing. I mean, you see these kind of shots, it doesn't do it justice actually just physically being here and seeing it in person, let alone having the opportunity yourself to actually take the shot yourself. Oh, it's just a... It's a real, surreal experience. It wasn't supposed to be raining right now, but being up in the mountains, you're in the clouds, so can't really predict anything. It's still really nice out here though. Victor and I just spent probably an hour, hour and a half. About that, yeah. <laughs> at the uh, main shrine area. Um, just getting shots, enjoying the atmosphere.
I should have. We, we just missed it. There were deer. There were deer like on the. This is the road that we're on right now. Just missed. Oh wait, no, there's still one there. Is there? Yeah, beneath, uh, behind that tree. Oh, oh, 